keep this one pretty simple. Where does your money go? You earn a paycheck and then that money gets spent. Some of it you might save. You might save it in an array of a couple of bank accounts. We're gonna talk about how you can diversify and organize it and make sure that you're on top of your finances so you don't feel stressed if you have an unforeseen expense arise. However, the first thing you need to do is understand where your money is. So, what I need you to do is figure out where you're spending money every day, every week, every month, and understand whether or not you are making more money than what you're spending, and are you also provisioning for the future? Everyone is different. It will not be the same for anyone who's watching this video. You can still apply the same process, apply the process, and by the end of it, you will have a better understanding of where your money is. First things first, you need to work out where your money is going. List everything you spend your money on. Put it into a list right now. One, two, three, four. I want every line item, I want you to list them because when you add them all up, you see how much it costs you to live per week, per month, work it out. Don't include things like you're just everyday spending for just like buying food or buying a movie ticket. The things that you need to survive, write them in a list on a piece of paper, in a spreadsheet, on a Word document, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna take you very long. It might take you 10 minutes to do it, but do it. List every single thing. Are you accounting for when you move out and have to pay for things like power, gas, water, rent? Probably not. It's probably, oh, it's too early to be thinking about that. But realistically, you wanna put yourself in a position where when you get to that point, you can be like, I've got money for that. This is really important. This is really good money management. And total it. After you've done this, work out if you make enough money to sustain that. Chances are you probably do. However, when the time comes that you are going to have to add a new expense to your, your daily life, such as a house, home loan, you wanna be prepared. How are you gonna do this? We're gonna to get to that. But first things first is you need to understand where your money is. My best guess is you have some bank accounts. Probably, I would say between two and three is the standard. I'm gonna tell you that I think five is the optimal number and we'll get into how to look for a bank, look for a better setup so that you can manage your money better. But first things first is you need to know where your money's going. Apps might track it, your bank might track it. It doesn't matter. I want you to list them in your head, write them down, figure it out, every single one. And I want you to keep this list because we're going to use it in following videos. What are we going to do with it? We're going to try and find ways that you can squeeze out of them and manage them better to save money whilst also preparing for new expenses. It's really important because having a surplus of money and building up a surplus will allow you to live free and comfortable. Everyone earns a different amount of money and you have to work within your bounds. However, with this method, it will allow you to feel comfortable in doing that and understand where your money is going. We're talking specifically expenses that are reoccurring that you need to progress with your life, not one-offs like going to the movies with your friends. Some examples would be your petrol for your car, your phone bill, you might pay rent, your daily expenses, not things that you do for leisure and fun. With that established, what are you gonna do with this information? I track my money uh, in a spreadsheet and the idea of this tracker is to keep track of everything I'm spending so I know where I'm, when I'm spending too much on something versus when I have way too many expenses compared to the amount of money I'm bringing in. So by doing this you will understand where your money is going it will allow you to then basically calculate based on what you're earning where it all is and how much you're spending of, of your weekly wage and your wage might be different, however, your expenses are still there and you can change and adapt in order to save some money, find better deals and also prepare for future expenses, which we will go into when we get to the tracker. First step is to make a list of your expenses, the things that you must buy, must spend in order to keep moving forward. See you in the next video.